What is the significance of karma? In, in some instances, it's a profound significance. It also makes, um, has, has the capacity to light up areas of your own life so that they make sense. Without understanding karma, as is done in the West, it leaves one with really one, only one tool to approach God, and that's faith. Because nothing in life makes sense. Why are some children born crippled and blind, born with AIDS, born from cocaine-addicted mothers with brain damage? We noted in earlier lectures that <clears throat> at the moment of birth, everybody already has a calibrated level of consciousness. At the moment of birth, Instantly, you enter this domain at a calibrated level of consciousness. Now, we could explain physical differences genetically. We could say, well, that genetic potpourri, um, the game of chance of genes and sperms and all that stuff, would explain why. This child is crippled, this child is blind, this child is deaf, and this child is a genius, and this child writes symphonies at age four. <clears throat> that would be the mm, mechanistic, reductionistic, uh, scientific explanation. It's just uh, genetic chance, combinations and permutations of all those genes and chromosomes. Mm, so that would be fine. <clears throat> Except that when we calibrate their levels of consciousness, we find that the calibrated level of consciousness is completely different. That is not genetically determined. It's not determined by chromosomes. In fact, it's the other way around. Because of karmic inheritance, one automatically comes into certain genetic and chromosomal uh, patterns, which then become the mechanism by which that karmic propensity expresses itself. What we see in the visible domain, the discernible domain, is consequences and not causes. The fastest spiritual advance is to jump beyond the, the mind's belief in causality. There is no causality anywhere in this domain. There is nothing causing anything. All is becoming that which it is out of its own karmic potentiality and fulfillment, because creation reveals itself. And as it reveals itself, perception sees it as progressive and calls it evolution. Yeah. So from the moment of birth, there is already, let's say, a quality of karma that we can calibrate as a level of consciousness. <clears throat> 